Hey, what's going on you guys? And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get a job as an appointment setter. And I'm coming from a place of someone who actually used to be an appointment setter and then went on and managed 23 appointment setters in nine different business uh, businesses. So I know a thing or two and I can share both sides of the coin. So let's get the bad stuff out of the way first. If you're going out there and looking for opportunities and jobs in Facebook groups or random job boards that aren't monitored or supervised by anyone, or you're just going out there and messaging a bunch of people that have business owner title in their, on their Facebook profile or Instagram, um, stop. It's just not the way to go. First of all, if you're going into Facebook groups, you're gonna get scammed. I've been scammed like two times at least when I was trying to get a job and I'll get into that in just a second. Um, so stay away from that. And then number two, if you're just messaging a bunch of business owners, well, I gotta say, you're probably burning a bridge before you even built it. So that's not a good way to do it either. So um, when I was getting into the space and what I was taught from these like appointment setting gurus and stuff like that. And by the way, I got into the space like three or four years ago. So it's been a while, um, probably way before appointment setting became this like amazing new thing, which by the way, it's really not that amazing. Like, I don't know anyone who's making 10K nor does it make sense you need to get insane amount of closed deals to make that amount of money and most appointment setters most businesses are not set up that way at all so just reduce your expectations all right anyway long story short i went out there onto the facebook groups and there's so many of them like appointment setting opportunities jobs da -da 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 -da. and there's all these people that are like we're looking for 30 appointment setters for this amazing offer and you're gonna make 5, 10, 15k per month and blah, 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 blah. And then that's what I did, right? Like I did that. I messaged those people and I got in contact with them. And what ended up happening is they basically hired 30 of us, which by the way, none of us had experience or knew anything about anything <laughs> when it came to the online space. And we were managed over a WhatsApp chat, red flag number one. Um, and the contract that they made us sign was like three pages long with huge spaces in between each section that looked like a 12 year old made it in Microsoft Word like yesterday. So red flag number two. Um, and basically that person didn't have a company, didn't have an offer and just wanted us to go out there and cold outreach a bunch of strangers and sell them on this thing that was like a figment of his imagination like bro what do you what do you actually do what's your like what do you offer what, what problem do you solve anyway so realized that was a huge scam um ran away as fast as humanly possible and then i got an actual job with a real company um and at the time it was at outreach with alaric heck yay great company by the way if you haven't heard of them go check them out i love them to death alaric you're a badass shout out brother anyway so this is how to get job the right way. Don't go out there spamming people. Don't go out there into freaking weird ass Facebook groups with a bunch of fake accounts trying to lure you into uh, an appointment setting gig that's not gonna pay you or anything like that. That's all nonsense, all right? This is what you do. First of all, you gotta figure out where do you wanna work? Like, wh what do you wanna do? Do you want to work in the fitness space because you love and care about like fitness and nutrition? There's tons of opportunities there. Or do you want to work for like a crypto offer, a real estate offer, a marketing offer? Like, what do you want to do? What do you care about? What's going to like light a fire in you? Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't care about the thing that the business is selling, you're not going to do a good job. If you don't give a single fuck about the thing that the business is doing, the chances are you're going to suck, you're not going to care, and you're going to fail because appointment setting isn't easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. So that's number one. Figure out where you actually want to work. Number two, go out there and look for real businesses that do the thing that you care about. So for me at the time, it was YouTube. I always wanted to be on YouTube. I wanted to do all that jazz. So what I did is I made a list of all the companies out there that are somewhat related to YouTube. And so how do you do that? Well, easy peasy. You go on the interwebs and you start typing YouTube marketing, YouTube coaching, how to grow on YouTube. 
and you're gonna have just an abundance of all these influencers and coaches and business owners that basically either teach people how to grow on YouTube or do YouTube ads or do like done for you or done with you YouTube growth offers, right? Like they just help people blow up on YouTube. Boom. So you have a list of all these people now. And instead of going out there and messaging the same thing to every single business owner as if they're going to see it in the first place, they're running a freaking company, buddy. Um, so don't do that, right? Like you have your list, you know who kind of you want to work with. Now you have to figure out who are these people who work in these companies. Because I'll tell you right now, if you're trying to go and hit up the business owner, they're not going to reply to you. They're way too busy running the show. But there's probably someone who's in charge of the sales team. There's someone who's in charge of the setting team or maybe the marketing team that you can slide into their DMs, build a relationship that way, and then um, ask for a position, right? So I found uh, at Outreach was one of the places that I found that I wanted to work at. And I started to look at who works there. So if you don't know how to do that, super simple, go on LinkedIn, find the company, and then there's gonna be a little section there that's called like people, so people who work there. And then you can see literally everyone who's associated with that company and their job title, right? So that's one way of doing it. Second way of doing it is you can go on the company's website and see, um, again, it's like meet the team or whatever they call it, like whatever corporate, you know, keeping it fun, meet the team, all this stuff. <laughs> You know, you do that, all right? So you click on that link and you see everyone's titles. Again, don't go messaging the business owner. Find someone who is like, maybe like once removed from the business owner, like a manager or like someone who's like a team leader, because the chances are like, those people are the ones who are gonna interview you in the first place. So you wanna build a connection with them and you wanna start it off on the right foot. So you find these people in these companies and then what you start doing is you start building a relationship with them. So the way I did it is I hit up um, at the time that was the sales manager, I think. I found his Facebook profile. I started interacting with some of his posts and I found other people that he like follows and interacts with. So I was like, okay, this is the person that's going to get me into the company. Now I have to kind of like excuse me, like creep into his network and then message him. And that way I can start building a relationship to then be able to ask like, hey, are you guys possibly hiring? Like what you do is amazing. I'm super inspired. Like what's up, right? But before you even get there, you want to just start appearing on their social media. You want to send them a, uh, like a friend request. You want to participate in the same conversations that they're participating at. And then once they start seeing you and interacting with some of the stuff that you're doing on their profile or in the conversations that they're having in public, what then you can do is just say, hey, uh, I saw that you work for a so-and-so company, you know, like it looks absolutely amazing. I'm really inspired by what you guys are doing. Like how, how have you been finding working there? How have you been finding like the company, the opportunity and what you guys are building and growing? So stuff that's like, more about where the company's headed and what role do they kind of play. That's kind of like how I approach that conversation, the frame. I don't really have a script for you, sorry, uh, but I hope this video is enough. And all you gotta do is kind of like, just use your brain, use some critical thinking to make a conversation based on what makes the most sense. Usually I find it's best to have a conversation that's happening in the public you can kind of like hook into that and then send them a DM based on those conversations that they're having in public. So at the time, uh, the way I hit up that person is I saw that they were talking about appointment setters and they were saying like, um, you know, it's so hard to find good appointment setters, but we're always open to giving people a chance. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, this is, this is my chance. <laughs> I got to slide into that conversation and then send the DM. Hey, I saw you were talking about X, Y, Z, like, how has it been looking for the right appointment setter? What are you kind of looking for in the position? Why has it been so hard? Oh, I see. Well, I would like to offer myself for this position. See how easy that is? Like, 
instead of just spamming a bunch of people and i'll tell you what like the chances of anyone taking you seriously if you just copy paste the same application message attached with like a video of yourself talking to the camera and being like i'm so and so please get me into your closing or appointment setting position who nobody cares about because it's been overdone so much like again sorry but it's been overdone like <laughs> you're not the first one to do that but what's not been overdone is like people actually taking the time to build relationships and participate in the same conversation and trying to you know be a human being who who gives a shit that has not been done enough that hasn't been done enough at all so if you want a sure way to get a position do the steps that i just told you about again use your brain use some critical thought to uh figure some stuff out like the exact messages i don't know like who and where you're applying for but i'm giving you a process that i took that landed me pretty much all of my positions and i've been through a lot and uh for people that i hired to work on my teams it's the same thing it's like have they been inside the community have they been participating in the conversation do they understand the offer do they understand like who's doing what inside either facebook groups or like instagrams or you know whatever it's like you want to be somewhat familiar with what the company does so that then when there's an opportunity for you to position yourself as someone who cares and is deserving of the position you have all the ammunition possible to just be like yo i care i know what you guys do and i want to be a part of this and i'm hungry and like whatever you know <laughs> all this other good stuff but i think just showing the other person that You've done your research, you've done the extra steps, you have participated in the conversation, like you've been there, you've seen this and that and this and that, it's gonna take them, uh, uh, it's gonna serve you well. And so in the end, what, what actually ended up happening is that person that I have started speaking with, they recommended me for, a, for the setting position. And I ended up having the interview with the onboarding team and like all this jazz happened, uh, but yeah, essentially that's the best way is just by being a human, providing value, participating, and then asking if there's a spot for for you to be a part of the team. A few more tips that I want to just put out there. If you guys are still watching this video, obviously there's tons of lazy people that are just like getting bored in the first three minutes. But um, so a few tips is when you are researching all these companies that you might want to work for. So before, like kind of I mentioned, the first steps that you want to do is just make a list of the companies that you want to work for. Take the time to see what they're doing in terms of generating leads and generating sales calls. Because as an appointment setter, if there's no leads, if there's no social media, if there's no credibility, it's going to be very hard being an appointment setter. Like the best appointment setters that I know are able to take people who are already interested and put them onto sales calls with closers. Because as an appointment setter, you're not trying to like create need out of thin air. Like you're ideally trying to find people who are already showing interest and just putting them onto a path to have a chat with a closer. You're not there trying to like convince them to buy anything. You're just like, hey, you want to do this? Cool. Well, we can do that. Like we can have a chat and see if we can help. So that's what you do as an appointment setter. So the way to look at um, social media is like, hey, how many followers do they have? Are they actual engaged followers? Or they're just a bunch of people from, you know, like fake accounts and stuff like that, because you're going to have a hard time speaking with fake accounts and booking them into sales calls. They're not real people. So looking at the engagement on these accounts, how many comments do they get? How many likes do they get? How many followers do they get? Um, are they running any ads? If you wanna check out the ads of this company, just go into Facebook ads library and then type in the name of the company or the influencer and then see if there's any advertising running. It's, it's also really beneficial to go through the funnel and see like, what is the client journey? What do they get to experience? Is there email marketing happening? Like what kind of funnel do they, do they have? Is there actual like closing calls going on? So understanding and seeing all of that is going to give you a good idea of like, Hey, is there actually an opportunity for me to be an appointment setter here? Or am I just going to go into this business and there's going to be no leads. I'm going to be doing cold outreach, which is a whole other thing uh, that I'm not going to touch in this video, but 
if there is opportunity, then the chances are you can apply confidently to be a part of that company. But if there's no opportunity and everything just seems kind of off and there's not enough social proof, there's no testimonials, then hey, maybe it might not be the best place to work at. Like if you can't find the company or any information about them online, run the other way. You don't want to work there. It's not a real place. It doesn't even exist. Like if it's not on internet, it doesn't exist. The internet is like the place for everything and everyone. And if it's not there, then it's not real. <laughs> I, I, like, I hate to say it, but that's how it is. Um, and I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I guess like one last final thing that I absolutely encourage everyone to do is when you find people who work there, send a message to a few of them and just ask them what's their experience been like in their position. Like, do they actually like working for the company? How has it been? How did they get a job? Um, what's the best thing about them? What's the worst thing? Maybe not what's the worst thing because you don't, you don't really want to talk about the negative stuff, but just asking like genuinely, what's your experience been like working for so-and-so because it looks like a really amazing place and I'm, you know, I'm kind of like hoping to eventually be a part of this team, but for you personally, like how's that been like? So asking questions like that is just going to give you kind of like an insider perspective of what's going on in the company so that then you can make a more informed decision of whether you want to join them or not. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Um, for those of you who want to know the actual step-by-step -step process of how to become an appointment setter, what it's really like being an appointment setter, how to organize your entire life, because a lot of these companies don't actually tell you how to do your job properly. Uh, I have a free course and a free community down below. And I'll link it for you guys. Join me, we have everything. We have a bunch of appointment setters in there already, uh, all learning from each other. So yeah, you know, why just not join instead of trying to figure it out all by yourself? We've done the heavy lifting for you. So click the link down below and hopefully I'll see you inside. Ciao, bye-bye.